Hello everyone, today we will be beginning the uh, first video of the most requested video for the open elective which is STM. Okay. So in this uh, video we will be discussing what are the um, flow, flows of the uh, modules. So which are the uh, key concepts you have to keep in mind from each of these topics. And I have mentioned the page number as well. So this video can be found in the link in the uh, description box. There is a, a folder called as super important uh, folder. In that there is a folder for SCM. <coughs> so you can find this uh, one there. And this one you can find there. And uh, before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and uh, uh, show your support to me by subscribing to the channel. And if you have any doubt, you can ping me on Instagram. My ID is this one. Okay. So let's get started. And uh, oh, you can open this uh, PDF in a separate device because I'll be referring this uh, from a separate device and I'll be telling you. Okay. And the notes which you can uh, find is in the same link which is in the description box. If you go to the um, file 18ME650, the subject code, there you have all the notes. So we'll be referring the uh, module one first. So, <clears throat> the module one is basically regarding the uh, introduction to the uh, supply chain management. So, what all you need to know is what are the uh, introduction uh, means, what is supply chain management, why it is needed and what are the fundamentals of it, the principles of it. Evolution means how it changed in the history from where it uh, went or uh, till where. What is the role of uh, supply chain in uh, economy, its importance and what are the decision phases, they are totally um three decision phases and supply chain uh, supplier manufacturer customer chain <coughs> so what is the supplier manufacturer customer chain with a diagram you have to explain who are the enablers and, uh, and or the drivers of the supply chain performance that you have to explain explain the uh, supply chain strategy supply chain performance measures so we'll be discussing at each point what is the key point you have to keep in mind the first question is what is supply chain management so supply chain management means you are supplying something that chain of supply, uh, supplying something is called as uh, supply chain management or managing the whole thing like from one place the, from the producer to the second producer third producer and fourth producer until the customer you will go right in this all things you will be there are a lot of factors which are getting considered to manage all those things in an efficient way that is called as supply chain management okay then we have the next one which is the supply chain fundamentals what are the fundamentals means the basic principles behind the supply chain there will be few principles which will be following uh, and by using those uh, principles we can be effectively transporting the goods from one place to another uh, place right so those are the uh, fundamental parts so you can go through the uh, key concepts here and this is the generic uh, supply chain um, diagram this you have to remember is an arrow here there is an arrow here and few of the key concepts are written here if you draw it once it will be sufficient for you three principal streams sourcing and material management and logistics and distribution that you have to mention okay then we have the uh, third question which is what is what is objective of supply chain the objective of supply chain is to maximize the overall value generated overall value means what the um, value of providing to society or the profit generated that should be the maximum how it can be maximum is the surplus is equal to customer value minus the supply chain cost what is the value you get from the customer and how much you invested in that if you subtract this but you will get the surplus value or the profit value so this should be higher some key factors are present here you can go through it once you'll get to know <clears throat> we have the fourth question which is explain the supply chain evolution there are three evolutions evolution means how it changed in the history the first evolution was in between 1910 and 1920 this was regarding the first uh, revolution the second revolution from 1960 to 1970 and this is the last revolution which is uh, 1995 to 2020 okay if you go through it you'll get the key points you have to mention that in your answer script then the fifth question is explain the import uh, explain the supply chain role in economy how is the supply chain affecting economy how is the uh, <clears throat> factor what are the factors present which can increase or decrease the um, efficiency of the economy those you have to explain you if you go through it uh, once you'll get to know next important question is explain the importance of supply chain what is the important there are totally five points importance is the proliferation in the product lines a shorter product life cycles higher outsourcing and shift in the uh, power structure in chain and globalization of manufacturing these are the five points which you have to explain in brief okay after that uh, what we have is the decision phases the three decision phases is what is the means decision phase means you have to, if you have to make a decision it will be uh, passing through three phases okay the first one is the supply chain uh, strategy or the design first you will be designing something then supply chain planning will be planning it first you will design then plan and then you will be uh, operating it supply chain operation so if you uh, mention this in your own words also it's fine just you have to explain the key points in it then uh, after that the question the second last question which is the supply chain manufacturer chain after that we have the drivers and uh, supply chain uh, performance um, drivers of the supply chain performance so what is the supplier chain it will be in this way ultimate supplier supplier company customer and the ultimate customer and the service provider will be acting uh, in between all of these this is a diagram you have to explain and what are the components in the diagram that also you have to explain 
information can be found here you can go through it after that uh, this is an extended supply chain uh, this is an optional topic and then we have the enablers and uh, enablers of drivers and supply chain performance who are the enablers the facilities inventory transportation information sourcing pricing and uh, yeah pricing so these are the different uh, things which we will be using by using which we will be able to do the supply chain management very effectively so those are the uh, drivers or the enablers of the uh, supply chain performance the last question is uh, what is the uh, supply chain strategy as well as the performance okay so supply chain strategy the three strategies uh, four strategies collaboration strategy demand flow customer service technology integration by the name itself you can understand collaboration means collaborating demand means there is a demand in it and customer service means you are providing a, ser a service to the customer technology integration means you are including technology fine this is a diagram you can make and explain each of this in your own words more information can be found here okay last one which is the performance of the um strategy uh, uh, supply chain performance measures few measures are given here like the cost assets reliability responsiveness and agility by using these factors you can measure the performance of the um, supply chain so basically that's all what is there in the uh, first module of SEM. and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel show your support to me by subscribing to the, cha uh, to the channel and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one